Hi, this is Chris with Fisher Workshops, and in this video tutorial, learn how to make a leather notebook wallet and cover. I have designed this notebook cover to fit both sideways and top opening paper notebooks. This cover also has two folders for documents, four card slots, a pen holder, and a change pocket. Customizations to these features are easy and I offer tips throughout the tutorial where changes can be made. A downloadable PDF pattern for this design can be downloaded from fisherworkshops.com. For additional information on how to trace, cut, and stain the leather, please check out the links in the video description below. Thank you for watching, and for more great leather crafting tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. First cut out all the pieces of leather according to the pattern, such as illustrated in this picture. I'm going to start by first assembling the interior pocket. If you prefer not to include a pocket, you can simply skip ahead to the next step. I want to sky the edges of the pocket's interior lip before gluing it on. Using a stitching groover, I mark my stitching lines across each end of the gussets and other pieces of the pocket. Mark the area on the rear cover where glue will be applied, and then apply the contact cement to both pieces of leather. After the contact cement has had enough time to set, fix the two pieces together. The interior leather strengthens the cover and prevents it from curling over time. Repeat the same step from attaching the interior lip to the pocket front. To put a crease in the gusses, simply fold as illustrated and tap with a smooth flat mallet or cobbler's hammer. Apply a little contact cement to both gussets and fix to the pocket front.
I'm going to attach my logo to the front of the pocket with four small rivets. Punch stitching holes along the front, top, and sides of the pocket cover. Then saddle stitch together. If you are new to saddle stitching, there are a lot of great tutorials on YouTube to show you the ropes. Mark where the button will go and punch a hole and attach the button to the pocket and cover. Use an edge beveler of your choice to round the edges in preparation for burnishing. Apply a little edge gum and burnish with a wood slicker or rotary burnisher.
I like to finish up by applying a little dye to the edges and sealing it with a glossy sheen. Roughen the edges where you'll be attaching the card slots in the pocket later on. I place a piece of paper under the ruler to prevent the ruler from accidentally marking the leather. Apply a little contact cement to the edges and to one side of the card slots and fix together. stitching line across the bottom of each card slot, punch stitching holes and stitch together. Repeat this process on all three slots. Now mark a stitching line on the interior card slot wall, then punch holes and saddle stitch together. Mark where the pocket will fix onto the folder, then glue together and stitch.
Bevel the interior edges of the front folder, burnish, and apply a finish. Level and finish the interior edges of the second interior folder. Bevel and finish the edges for the notebook pocket as illustrated. Mark where the front folder will be glued onto the interior folder. Rough in the area you want to glue first, then apply a little contact cement and fix the two folders together. Let's follow the same steps to glue the folders in the pocket onto the interior lining.
Using a stitching groover, I will carve grooves where I plan to stitch along the pocket. Punch out your stitching holes with the chisel and saddle stitch together. Using a pattern template, I mark where my magnetic buttons will be fixed to the cover lining. Next I cut out two small grooves for the buttons to fix to. Wait a minute, I almost forgot to attach the pen holder. You might need to adjust the diameter of this to fit the type of pen you plan to use. Since I don't want my belt to cover any of the tooled artwork, I will mark where the belt rests against the pattern and cut it out. This particular pattern was drawn by artisan Chan Gear. Some of his patterns can be purchased online. Skive the edges where the belt will be folded over, and the square ring will be fixed. Roughen and apply cement to the cover where the center belt will be fixed. The square ring should rest right off the edge of the cover. Mark stitching lines, punch stitching holes, and saddle stitch together. Using my pattern template, I mark where the magnetic buttons will be fixed on the notebook cover.
Now I want to attach a rounded tab to the other end of the square ring, fixing another magnetic button to it. Now I'm going to fix the other end of the belt to the cover, and stitch to the cover. Apply cement to the edges of the cover and lining, and fix the two pieces together. Draw or carve stitching lines around the interior and exterior edges of the cover. I will use several hand stitching chisels to punch stitching holes around the edges. I will use a single hole stitching plier on the corners where a multi hole plier won't work. When all the holes are punched, saddle stitch around all the edges. Sand the edges until they are flat and smooth. You can do this with a rotary sander or any piece of sandpaper. The edges with an edge beveler. Apply some burnishing gum and burnish with a wood slicker or a rotary burnisher.
I finished up my edges with a matching stain and glossy sheen and we're almost finished. 